Hey, what's up, you guys? Sony Man 2004 here, and you might be wondering why I'm so sad and everything, but you know, you guys know the date. It's 9/11, and I'm honoring those 3,000 people who were killed today by American terrorists. And today, we're going to talk about how a little bit how it happened, but just remember my information might not be exactly right. Now, I do, t I'm totally, um, this is tragic, even though I wasn't alive, it's still tragic for me, because for the people who were alive, to see that actually happen during this time is a big deal. So, I mean, it's really sad that a terrorist thought of some stupid person would think that it's okay to do that to our country and, you know, as a result it created all kinds of more things that have changed the world. For an example, more security, more this, more that. Just everything has been upgraded to scale to higher than it has ever been before. And thanks, and you know, that's a good thing because then something like this will probably never happen again. But it is still history, and we still have to mark history of whatever happened on this day because I feel like I need to honor those people who have died and those amazing people who could have had amazing lives just got taken from them. And it sucks. It's sad, and. I think, and I'm totally going to respect them because their lives were taken out of this world. And I think you guys should too. This is a really important day to respect all those people who went through this horrific, crazy explosions. So here is an explosion of both of the towers on fire. Uh, I think there was an east and west tower. Now, I believe the west tower was blown up first than the east being second. Now, all the, how this started is there's this call, guy named, ugh, oh, what's his name? Um, the guy's name is Bin Laden, and I'm gonna show you guys who Bin Laden is. Bin Laden. Bin Laden was the leader of this terrorist attack. He was born in 1957 and killed in 1911. This guy was the cause of 9-11. He started this theory, or what you may call, he, he had a group of guys go onto airplanes and hijack them, taking control of the whole airplane, which means they took, they went to the airplane, hijacked the pilots, and the, the pilots had to surrender, because if they didn't surrender, they would be killed. But there's many theories about how it actually happened. But this is my theory. All the high, all the pilots were hijacked by these terrorist groups. Then they reported to Bin Laden. Now then, Bin Laden told them, go to this tower or when to strike the twin towers. Now remember, there were three. There were three things that were striked out of four. The third one, I don't really know what it was. All I know was a Congress building, I think. But, yeah. So, and then we get the news that the, we, uh, even before the news could go on, the fourth tower, the, the west tower gets striked by an airplane towards the top, and that's when the crisis starts. And then the news goes on right away, interrupting everything else that's going on to the world, and just showing everyone this tragic event. Then the next thing that happened was is that we talked to the news for a second and on news camera they actually get the East Tower going down and with the East Tower different from the West Tower, the East Tower they actually went through the middle and the West Tower they stayed at the top. Now, unfortunately, those 200 or 300 people, I heard they were 737s, those people in the plane were immediately dead, and all those people above those floors were killed as well. Now, I believe, this is my theory, I believe some people both below the floors were also killed, so maybe a couple floors from the actual attack were killed as well. So, I think that 
not ever one survived. Only about 20% in the Twin Towers of people survived. And so then the second tower was striked in the middle, which is the West Tower. And then we get the news that the first tower is dropping down. And while the first tower was dropping down, they actually said that they could see people actually jumping out of the windows, which is crazy. I can't believe it. That I would do the same thing. If I was in a terrorist building like that, I would not want to be burned to death. I would be definitely jumping out of a building. But that's just me. But you know what? I can't believe that some terrorists would do something like this to us Americans. I don't know what happened. Maybe it has something to do with the Iraq war. But you know, I don't really know. All I know is that I take this day to honor those people whose lives were taken from them. Because it is my respect. And it's my job and our jobs to make our future generation never make this mistake again. So we need to make sure that this never happens again. Because if it does, um, we got some issues. But I don't think it's ever going to happen again. All I know is that it sucks and it's sad. I feel really bad for all those families who have to deal with people losing their family, their mother, their father, or their sons. I can't, I just can't imagine how that would feel if, that, if I was in that position. I would not be able to do any of that. I would literally lose it. And, you know, I cannot believe that people are still even able to put up with that. Losing someone they really love. And than just being killed by a terrorist. I don't think I would be able to do that. I think that that would be really hard for me to process in my mind and I would not, I would just wouldn't be good, I'd be miserable. Um, so then we get the news report that the first tower dropped and I believe before the second tower dropped, there was another crash into a Congress building which those people were killed on the airplane and I don't know, we don't really know what type of airplane that was, but all I know is that a Congress building or whatever building was struck, and there were a total of four airplanes hijacked. And so then we get that news, and then the next news is that the second tower just dropped. And when the towers dropped, there was a loud sound. I watched a documentary before I made this video. There was a loud sound of the towers coming down, and people just screaming and yelling, and... You know, it's crazy. It sounded like fighter jets. I heard someone on there say it sounded like fighter jets, but you know... Um... Pretty much it was ridiculously crazy. Um, I can't believe it. Then what happened on the fourth plane was a miracle. They were actually trying to plan to strike the White House. Now, luckily, there are people who knew how to fly a plane. So they hijacked the hijackers and crashed the plane down into a field instead of hitting the White House. Now this is a time that they were very close to the White House. They could have killed the White House and as we know the White House today would not been, have been the same. But luckily that plane Boeing 757 United was struck down and instead landed in the field thanks to those two, thanks to those people who knew how to fly a plane. You know this is a really tragic day. A day that 3,000 lives were taken from our American country. And now, I came here today to honor and respect those people whose lives were taken away. The lives were taken away of millions of of at least 3,000 people. And even those people who have family members, their lives have been damaged too because they've lost something, someone they know, someone they really love, etc. So I mean, it's been a really tragic day for everyone out there. It has. But every day on 9-11, I choose to respect and honor my old American people who have died this day. 
I choose to respect and understand what happened and being able to process that being able to respect that throw ceremonies all of it I'm an American and I choose to respect my American people.